Hi guys, today I'm going to align my secular um, science curriculum with a Christian devotional, How Great Is Our God? So if you're interested in this, stick around. Okay, so I, um, due to budget issues, not issues, well, like due to our budget, um, I ended up buying a old science curriculum from um, Amazon, five bucks used. And um, I thought that I would use this, you find like a unit and then align it with our Christian devotional so that um, it still aligns with the word of God. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and turn the camera around and I'm gonna show you my process for um, how we handle um, aligning secular science up with the Word of God. Okay, so the first thing that I do is I look through the table of contents, and I've already looked through this, um, just so you know. And um, I know that the first unit are chapters one, two, and three, and the first thing they talk about is plants. And um, how they grow and change. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come to the appendix and there's three lessons here plus a link and then a chapter review. So I'm going to plan, I'm going to look for one. Hopefully if I find more than one, um, that would be great. But if I just find one to kind of anchor this unit, I'll be happy. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to go to the appendix and I'm just going to look for plants here. And look at that. Um, we actually have a bunch of them. So the first one is about, so I'm just gonna look at 14 and 15, and let's see. And this is about seeds, which is great because I know that lesson two talks about um, she's specifically going to um, plant something. So I'm gonna align that with two. And so I'm gonna open up these. I'm just gonna write on my sticky note that um, I'm gonna say lesson one, lesson two, and I'm gonna say page, oops, what was it? Um, page 14 and 15 is about seeds. Okay. So page 14 and 15. Okay. So then I know we're talking about living and non-living things. And then how are plants alike and different. And then there's also like a math link. So I'm going to go back to the appendix and see what else we can find. So 38, let's see what 38 is talking about. All right, stop and smell the roses, which is also still about plants. Um, I'm probably gonna use, let's just say, um, I'll do that one for lesson three, because it's talking about differences in like, this is, so I'm pretty sure maybe smell and senses have something to do with that. So I'm going to say page, so lesson three, page 38 and 39. Okay, and then let's say, let's go back to the appendix. And let's look at 58 and 59. The good fruit. We think of fruit as being yummy and good for us, but what is it really? Um, I might do a review for that. Let's see what else we have. Living and non-living things. You know what? I think I'm gonna do um, lesson one with this one. Just because of like the relationship of like living things of God and all that. 
a new life with the Lord. I think that would be good. So page 58 and 59. Okay. So um, that's good. And then now I'm going to look for, so chapter two is about animals, how they grow and change. So I'm going to go back to the appendix and look for animals. They don't have anything about animals, but I don't have to look it up through like types of animals, I guess. So let's look at butterflies, 46 to 47. You can kind of pick up that, just looked, 46. Oh, I know I'm gonna use this for um, the, like towards the end. I know I'm gonna use that one. <laughs> Okay, so 46. Um, pretty poison. With this bright orange and black wings, the monarch butterfly is a pretty and so poisonous. Uh, what are animals are like and different? What are some animals' life cycles? Um, let's do, this could either go with either one. Let me look at another one. I do want to use that one. Maybe the life cycles for um, cheetahs, 11. 11, maybe I'm liking different. Okay, cheetahs, perfectly happy. A cat's purr is one of the most soothing sounds around. So I'm gonna do this one with um, lesson one. So I'm gonna put this here. Page eight and nine. Okay. Well, look at that. I was thinking it would be very daunting to do this um but it seems pretty easy and you know like I already have this and we've never used it so I think it's a good use way to use it and I also saw that there were two additional ones made so um I mean if I listen this was five bucks so I don't know how and I didn't get a teacher's edition so I don't know how involved um upper grades get but it seems pretty um like it's not going to be that hard like I don't need a um Teachers, um, guide to do this and see like the second lesson they already she's doing like an activity um, the things that I were looking, was looking for when I decided to get curriculum was you know where they're going to be activities and then I also wanted to introduce them to nonfiction text so that's pretty cool and then at the end of um, unit one uh, they did talk about a book. There was a link to like language arts here. Um, so they talked about um, crinkle roots here. So what I did is I went to the library and I also found some additional literature books. Like I, I really do like books. So um, I'll show you what, what I got from the library, what I checked out um, to go with the different units. Okay, so I got this reader for her. Um, she should be able to read it. It's a level one, so it has sight words and words that she can sound out. Um, but I thought that she, she likes um, the Parker series, so I thought that that would go with, good with our first chapter. Um, and then there was Crinkle Roots Guide to Giving Back to Nature. So kids are really gonna like this. And then only a tree knows how to be a tree. So we're gonna add that to um, what we'll read in the morning. And I'll probably read some during the um, 
the days that they're like doing a link or like a chapter review or something like that. Um, then the next one is animals and how they grow. So here's some animals. Um, here we grow. And then I see a kookaburra. I thought this was pretty cute. And for them to kind of dive into that. And then for the, um, the body and how we grow and change, I found this human body book from the DK. Um, and they can just look through this. It's kind of strange, but <laughs> they will, um, pretty sure I'm enjoy it and I'll read some of that to them as well. So yeah, that's all I have for you today. If this kind of content interests you, go ahead and give me a thumbs up and think about subscribing to my channel. Don't forget to drink your water and repent. Bye.